Okay, I want to make fun of this guy. His name is Cucktree Rhodes, and he's like a rage pig. Here's here's his wonderful community post. He wants to share with the forum updates about Dark Side Phil. So this is how he writes. After 41 consecutive streams, Phil usually streams twice a day except on one Sunday a month because he streams once to react to paid Patreon member shitty K-pop and Singaporean propaganda videos, and a day of trying to start drama with low-tier god and raging and rage-quitting Black Myth Wukong, DSP's king streak has ended and showcased how poor the Kino Casino pay pegs are since they couldn't keep it going as long as the vest streak. This signals the end of DSP's redemption arc, and they are a complete feltoning of both Kino Casino pay pegs and Phil. And then he wrote another post. So he wrote this post and then featured it himself, and this is what he says. Duty. So again, if you are like fans of somebody who's literally named shit, uh, you're a fucking retard. You're like mentally a child. Judy clipped the end of the court jester streak for anyone who isn't aware of what happened. His pre-stream was just him trying to start drama with low-tier god. Then when it came to gameplay, he went back to playing Black Myth Wukong. Uh, he did cheese strats. Well, today he is raging pretty hard at the game and didn't hit the 150 he expected. The show ended with him complaining about how the game killed the streak and he was wage quitting it. Because... The it's the busy gaming season. Just like with the vest streak, he stalled majorly at the end, hoping a final tip would come in, which has been happening quite a few times in the last week. Important note for our Kino Casino pay pigs that visit here. The DSP A-logs win when you don't give Phil money. It's something you kind of keep doing. As DSP pay pigs, he learned in the past, just because you're homeless doesn't mean that you're cashless. So you, this guy is like filled with a deep primordial rage at Dark Side Phil making like $150 for like eight hours of streaming a day. Like that upsets him. Like, honestly, honestly, how long does he stream like per day? It's gotta be like six or eight hours. Right. And you divide 180 by that. It's like less than $20 an hour. <laughs> He's upset about that. He's like, that's too much money for DSP. Come on now. He plays gotcha games. He sucks. I hate him. That's a bad guy. Um, there's a brief, a small intermingling overlap between Kang Phil and Dark Side Phil. Or not, uh, Ethan Ralph. I, DSP tweeted this out. A very ominous tw message. He says, I just want to test something really quickly here. Here it goes. Ethan Ralph. The gray clouds circle in, lightning strikes, earth shakes, cracks open, and you hear in the distance, What the fuck you say, bitch? Keep my fucking name out your mouth, DSP! A really shocking, shocking display. And indeed, Ethan Ralph did crawl out of the ground, bemoaning the name Dark Side Phil. And it says, no show today. I'm clipping and working on guest prep. Also, a special DSP show tomorrow to prepare for an eventual Fuck DSP Festival later this month. He continues. He says, Phil, you know what I'm doing for my birthday? Going to visit my son, which you don't have, because you shoot blanks. Panda Lee would never let you knock her up, or else you're not capable. I lean towards the ladder. The fuck DSP Festival. Tentative date, September 27th. We will have guests. And then he posts this. I'm 38, Phil, at least for a few more days. This clown is trying to say I'm in my 40s right now, LMAO. I'm not. Um, that's because you look old and you're bald, Ralph. That's why he says you look 40. Because you look, I mean, he's being generous. You look 50. You look like you're about to die of old age. See what Phil has to say about this. Uh Oh, her, look at this. <laughs> These people are insane. 
a special DSP show tomorrow. What? What? <laughs> Listen, I literally tweeted a name. I know nothing of the person at all, right? That's it. And I'm reading replies. That's it. That's literally it. I'm going to assume that PPP told him, like, uh, sorry, I'm bad. They've got, like, five-letter names and four-letter names all mixed together in my head. Like, PPP just told Darkseid Phil, like, hey, if you just tweet the name Ethan Ralph, this guy will, like, give you free content. He will, like, bow to you and just offer content as, like, a sacrifice at your feet um, as thanks for keeping him slightly relevant. Uh, he doesn't even, like, he has no idea, like, he can't even conceptualize, like, what do you mean a special stream? You're just going to boot up a stream and complain about me for several hours? Okay, go for it. I mean, what even the fuck? Phil can do that. Gun t look at this. Is this real? Oh my god, someone beat the shit out of him and they got it on camera. Dude, that's fucked up. Yo, he's getting pummeled. Oh my god. Who the hell beat the shit out of him? When did that happen? That's a Portugal fight? Oh my god. I just want to point out the guy that posted that. His username is Missouri State Ass Eating Champion. 2007 2009 so he missed he didn't win 2008 for whatever reason i don't know what that other year is that's a very bizarre name that's a very weird username um and it stands out to me as particularly weird interesting i think there is a video by the kang keith and ralph hollering about this where the fuck is this is this him oh yeah Phil Burnell, the king of hate. No, motherfucker. He's reading. He's reading like a note off his screen or something. Why is he looking down? Look at the camera. You're looking at the king of hate. Ethan Ralph, the sultan of spite, the emperor of enmity. That's me. You know, you got on the Kino Casino. You had some laughs at my expense, but they didn't show you the shit that I've really done to motherfuckers online. The lives that I've ruined. The people's careers that I've ended. They didn't show you any of that. They showed you some embarrassing moments. No doubt I've had some downers, uh, literally, uh, so to speak. But I've also fucking cracked some skulls. And you're next on the list, motherfucker. And you fucked with the wrong one for... I don't even know what reason. I guess just to, you have nothing else uh, other than to try to poke me uh, and try to get some of my uh, hater audience. Well, guess what? You got a large hater audience as well. And they've been talking a lot to me. And they've already hit the Kino Casino hard. And guess what? There's more coming. I hear, at least. There's more coming the Kino Casino's way from all different sides. But I'm coming your way, motherfucker. And I'm not interested in Metal Gear Solid gameplay or how bad you suck at video games in general. I'm interested in your personal life, the lies you've ran, the scams you've run on the fucking IRS, the, the wives you've lost. I'm interested in the personal. I'm interested in the real fucking hard attacks. I'm not interested in, you know, you played this video game bad or whatever. No, I want to talk about how you treat your fans how you scam your fans, what a piece of garbage you are in general, How what an ingrate you are. This is a blessing. To do this for a living is a blessing that you don't seem to understand or appreciate. Well, you're going to appreciate me by the time I'm done with you, you piece of fucking garbage. I always imagine him with like, his. I just imagine his eyes are like closed when he does these like little like therapy sessions and he just pictures himself in the head in like in his head 
eyes closed and he's just talking like imagining he's holding the mic like wwe style it's like hanging from the roof he's like let me tell you something brother you think that you fucked with some hard detractors before you ain't seen nothing dark side feel i'm coming for you Ooh yeah, I'm gonna throw you over the table. I'm gonna bounce off the the cords on the edge of the fucking ring. I'm gonna throw you overboard, dark side feel. And all the while everyone's just going, yeah, woo, yeah. And then he's just he's just like sitting in his little avocado house in like Mexico, and he's just like ye- yelling at a computer screen. <laughs> And he thinks it's, like, the coolest shit that's ever been fucking recorded and sent out. Uh, he's never lost any wives, by the way. I'm, pre- <laughs> I'm pretty sure. He never ma- married Panda Lee. And he married the one woman that he dated after that. And I think the IRS settled his debt, so I don't know what the fuck he's talking about with that either. Very weird. Um... So, yeah, good luck. I mean, God, how many more people can possibly try to build a career off of Dark Side Phil hate? <laughs> like, he's entering a really crowded market. And the people that currently do the detractor stuff for Phil are, like, so dedicated. They watch, like, all his long-ass streams to clip out anything that they can make into, like, a video. And compress that down to, like, eight minutes. It's like, Ralph can't do that much work. <laughs> He doesn't have enough gray matter left to do what, like, someone like Duty Streams does and, like, watch the entire fucking eight-hour-long stream and make, like, ten-minute videos out of it. Uh, so good luck with that, buddy boy. Good luck with that shit. Um, cue, cue clip of Ralph being beaten by Dark Side Phil. <laughs> what you gonna do when Dark Side Phil goes rant on you? What's that thing? Goes goes wild. Goes wild. That's what the Hulkster says. That's right. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.